that acts like a cat. That's, that's true. Like that. Best of both worlds there. Like my dog. So my dog acts like a cat. She just can't climb things. <laughs> okay, so Fluffy. Are we back in? Okay, yes, we're, we're back. back in. Hi, everybody. Oh, I should do the thing. There we go. So Fluffy. Okay. Okay. Uh, oh. Yeah, games. So, we're back. So we had, the, we had the cute scene. Um... Uh, do we want to have a not cute scene or a funny scene? Um, I already know what the non cute scene is going to end to, but okay, let's go back to the uh, funny scene. How cl- how how it? Yeah, I guess we just keep going. Um, do we? How long does your how long does your hold person last? At, not hold person, locate person. Uh... Oh nope, she ca- she cast a concentration spell. It's gone. I never had it on. You never turn it on. Okay. Um cuz you kept There was discussion about it, about it. I guess it didn't happen. Yeah. I mean, I can turn it on, but like um I figured yeah. yeah, I figured since we're down here, we can just go um So yeah, at a at a at a certain point, you come to like a junction where there mm-hmm. are like four stairwells up that either lead to other tunnels at higher levels or up to the surface. And Petunia just like does like a couple circles around the room and just doesn't seem to know where to go. Okay. Uh, th- th- so okay, so you fine. think you do that spell maybe? Yeah, fine. Um, right. The hunt is cold. So cold. Uh, b- 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 uh, yep, so yeah, I pull out my, um, pull out my, what's the word? Holy symbol. Um, and then, uh, you hear me whisper, uh, Andrella's name, and then I, yeah, I cast Locate Creature. Uh, can you drop that in chat for me? I just want yeah. to clarify the wording. Boop. Um... Where do you think is interesting? You find, yeah, she's not within a thousand feet of you. Oh fuck. Well, sh- Welp. <sighs> um. Yeah, I'm not getting anything. She's not close enough for it. I'll hold, I'll, I'll keep it held. It lasts for an hour. Um, so. Well, there's only one thing to do. Let luck decide. Or, you know, you could, like, investigate things. Let's investigate things. That thing I'd have a negative at. I don't... It's Echo. He's going to randomly pick one. Yeah, that's, um, that's fine. I have plans for each of these outcomes. So, um, I, so there's so there's one that appears to lead to a tunnel uh, above you, one that appears to lead to a tunnel below you, uh, one that leads up to the surface, and then one that looks like it's been blocked off. Okay. Um, let's see. Guidance is concentration. Damn it! All my good, all my helpful, all my helpful ones are concentration. Wait, 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 wait. Um, I have the guidance. Oh, cool. Um, guidance myself (laughs) as I tap into the ether. Um, I bring out my holy, my shield as the giant eyeball. It's like, which way do I go? It's like, ping, 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 ping. I look at the rubble one. Investigation. Investigation. Darn it. Oh yeah, guidance got all, all guidance does is give you a bonus for the roll. A D4. Give a that D4. D, that D4 ain't gonna save that. Eleven. Nope. 
Um, I look over. Tell here. me what you're. Uh, at first glance, it just looks like a caved-in tunnel. Uh, tell me what you're I'm doing. Looking like, I'm trying to figure out if it's natural or was it forced. Tell me how you're. Tell me how you're investigating this. Basically, I'm looking for cracks or like uh, if there's actually someone used a weapon, maybe bludgeoned it to like. Are you like? Are you like? Are you like touching rocks? Are you like moving yeah, things? I'm, touch, I'm touching rocks to see like it fell from this way, so maybe. Yeah, your hands pass through the rocks. Oh wow. As I kind of like, I guess, lose my balance because I'm getting ready yeah. to like move bowls, and I'm like, "What the heck?" Uh... Wait, what? As I walk forward. You okay there? It's not real. I, I guess it's not real. I'm not sure what this oh. is called. I mean, we can probably assume that that's the right way then if they've got weird fake magic rocks. I did not expect that in character or out of character. Sure. Yeah. I mean, it... okay, let's go. I, I walk through it and we end up in someone else's like sub basement. <laughs> so, yeah, you, you walk through it uh, and then like the everything on the other side is like really nice you like suddenly like it switches from hard stone to like carpet like there's like a nice wooden interior to the hallway wait and there's like like candle sconces that are made out that look like they're made out of like golden arms that are like holding like candelabras this is the character my halfling sense is tingling john cocteau they're like john cocteau arms am i getting any pings on locate creature nope Hmm. I guess this would be a, uh, a guidance insight check. What are you trying to do? And I'll tell you what to roll. I'm, I'm like, this is way too fancy for a hideout for ass, fallen ass from ours. But this is seen more like halfling shenanigans. That, that is a reasonable conclusion to draw. <laughs> but don't you want to investigate it anyway? <laughs> 15, it's like if I was a fallen mercenary group, I wouldn't hate like. Well, then it's again, not where you hang out. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, let's go a different way then. Okay, I guess we check up the. Uh... Make a perception check, everybody. Boop. All right, get advantage on this. Uh, do, 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 do. Twenty-one. Echo, you hear a woman singing in draconic. I follow the voice of the women singing in Draconic. What? Wait, it, hey, is, what? Is it it's further. Like, it's further down the hallway. What? Oh wait a minute. Like, does it sound like? Wait a minute. Persis doesn't sing in Draconic. She drinks his ass more. Never mind. Like, I guess I like, mean, wait a minute. I know Draconic. I might have yeah. sung a couple songs in Draconic. But you I don't always know. sing in Asimar, so it sounds like heavenness. To be fair, Asimar is a tonal singing language just oh. talking in azamar is a song andrella you're you're in the dream world right now no okay, well, i'm just saying I'm like just... in my k canon i always hear you singing azamar i mean i, I yeah <laughs> so uh, if, like i it what I'll check, what is it i make this as a sub note like i'll check this out later i, I, I gotta i gotta go find my friend Did... okay yeah i know um, so you know draconic. I hear draconic music, but I'm not sure if it's the princess music because it usually sings in the all righty then. Yeah, when uh, she's speaking her, her uh, angelic language, I forget what it's sorry, called. Sorry, in my head, oh, I, yeah. think of, I think of Ace Ventura Peck Detective. That moment is all righty then. <laughs> I think okay. I'll, I'll, I'll hurry. To, I'll go down the hall a little bit to, until I can hear it. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. It's a it's a woman singing. Um, uh, it's a uh, so, so it's like um. I guess it would be like a Yanti like folk song sort of. Um. About like, um. Like two, uh, like two lovers who were forbidden to be together by their parents, and so they ran off into the desert together. Uh, and they're why the um, they're why the drakes howl at the moon in the desert because hmm. it's it's, a, no, it's, it's, it's them like mourning the death of these two lovers or whatever. It's a it's a one T song. 
just don't you want to check it out? I, 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 we should go find Andrella, right? Uh, you're right. Yeah, just for another day. I guess we head back to. The, so, uh, what are the sconces? Like you said, the sconces are like weird, like ha golden hands or something. Yeah, their hands made out of gold. Is that a symbol of anything? Um. Nope. Okay. Not that you know of. It's a secret, Wink. Uh, Andrella, can you just make a charisma check? Uh, not a charisma, a constitution check for me. DC 14. Nope. Okay. Thank can you. I... Can I listen to the voice to hear, see if I, like, notice anything about the about it like the person singing sure um i don't know if that'd be like a perception or if it would just be or uh, uh, that would be a perception check yeah okay or um yeah uh so yes it's it's a single woman singing but she appears to be singing to a group of people um, you distinctly hear crying. Um, you occasionally hear clapping and you hear like the tinking of drinks. I think this it's is classic. a classic. I think this is a bar. I think this is, I think this is just, I think this is a secret bar. You do realize I'm this is super you, curious and I want to know. You do realize this is what I'm going to do to you this whole time. I'm going to throw more interesting things at you than Andrella being saved and just see what you do. No, but we need to I really want to know me. I well, I, I know better. So I'm like, man, yeah, let's go back. Like, it's it's right. like, okay, guess what? We can check this out anytime we want. I guess we had to. So in Draconic, you hear someone stand up and say, the lovely Cecilia. And like, Everyone claps and then I'm sorry, what? The same, the same <laughs> voice say, thank you, thank you. They just said okay, they just said my name. But is it like that's a trait for all your people of your species to be named after stuff? As I don't know stuff that I read what? in the book, maybe. Rafiq is just like, no. That's it's like I see like back in the book, it's like in this culture that I sound of these savages, they like the name Cecilia passed down to the generations. I do not understand why these savages like this name, but they, and I'm like, I'm trying to not repeat what the word for word was in the, the racist book, but it's like. It. Oh, that's right. You had the book from the guy who killed them all the yeah, time. Yeah, the adventures, the adventures of St. Beric. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. he probably would say something like, it's like they love the name Cecilia, even though they haven't realized they named mm -hmm. ten percent of their female uh, offspring Cecilia. Okay, well if we can go that way, I guess maybe. The... <laughs> <laughs> do it. Just go look. Let's you go. can peek. <laughs> and then run away. Yeah, this I... is the funny thing. It's like Echo. We should go this way. Wait a minute. <laughs> well, they said my name. Okay, fine. Uh, we go there to go check it out real quick. Maybe there'll okay. be someone there that can help us. Good someone, justification. Maybe someone so, knows this area. I don't. I, I... So okay. um, you guys start heading through the hall for with John Cocktail Arms. Um, if anyone, if anyone doesn't know what John Cocktail Arms are, it's a it's a film thing uh, from John Cocteau's. Beauty and the Beast, which was a French version of Beauty and the Beast in the 20s. Um, he really famously had a bunch of actors. He paid a bunch of people to stick their arms through a wall. He spray painted them gold and had them hold candelabras uh -huh. to be like the lighting fixtures. And so that's kind of what it looks like, except they don't move. Um, uh -huh. uh, and by spray painted gold, I mean whatever black and white passed to make things look gold. Uh, Andrella. What are you doing with Kirkall? Uh, are you just kind of sitting there, like leaning on him? Um, no, I want to say that we've like 
you know, we've been chatting and hanging out for a while and maybe we've like uh, started playing a game um, mm -hmm. that we can scratch into the ashes or something. Yeah. So yeah, you're like, you're like, you're, you're like making a move. I, I imagine it's a bit like, I imagine it's like Hangman or something. Yeah. It's like, it's like a word game. Mm -hmm. and you, you get, you get the word right. It's, um, uh, and so the, the game is you give each other hints, but you're not allowed to say the word. And then you have to guess letters based on the hints. Mm -hmm. And the word, the, the the hint he gave you was beautiful and radiant, and you were just about to get your name uh, when uh, you uh, suddenly like wake up back in that same room, and Bato's just looking you in the eye, and he's like holding you by your hair. Well, that's disorienting. Okay, uh, yeah. So she's just gonna kind of like gasp and try to pull away. Like pulls your hair to keep you like looking at him. Ah. Uh, Welcome back. Where'd what? you go? There was nothing going on in your mind. Where did you go? I'll make you tell me. No, you won't. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid. No. Now I gotta torture him when I find him. And it's gonna be terrible. Okay. I, I think he like stands up and he like cracks his back. So he lets go of me? Yeah, he lets go of you. Okay. Where am up. I? You're, like, you're, can I look around? Yeah, you're 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 still tied to a pickle barrel, but you appear to have been it it looks slightly different like maybe they like reoriented you to either be looking at a different part of the room or they moved you to a different room in the same building okay um so he like stands up he like walks over to a barrel and he just like picks something up uh he picks up your necklace of thought reading and he like throws it on his neck. Yeah, Andrella like takes a big inhale and grits her teeth and is like, shit. I told you I'd make you tell me. Mm -mm. You know, it'd be so much easier if you just used your words like a good little girl. Honestly, I kind of like it better that you don't. It makes it more fun for me. Um, Michael. Yes. When the Asimar fall, we decided that they have a problem with the language. It hurts them to hear it again. Like, like it's unpleasant for them or something. Yeah, it's 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 it, 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 yeah, it, it sounds unpleasant. Yeah, it's, okay. it's like listening to a really grating accent. Okay. Um. I think Andrella is going to say in Celestial, I won't cooperate with evil. I think he kind of, you, you see, like you're looking at his back and he's, he's like shirtless. You see his, the like muscles in his back tighten and you see the like weird, like, like octopus tattoos um, all over his back, the like tentacle tattoos. And okay, are they like, octopuses or tentacles? They're like they look like ten, it's like a tentacle pattern, but you see them move. You see them move slightly, and you just hear him pop his neck, and then in your mind you hear, "Shut up." Yep, she shuts up. <laughs> that was scary. Someone's been talking to certain people in certain realms. Yeah, someone's been talking. Someone's been talking to terrifying outsiders. Yep. He sees some shit. <laughs> That's why our battle is going to be epic when we meet. 
But curses, he's probably gonna have a nap by then, so he can have some of his spells, which makes me mad. So he he like picks. Like picks something up off the table. It's like a it's like a bottle. And then in, he's using um they they do remind you of her stuff. Okay. They do remind you of Camilla's tattoos. Um, but they're they're like different, they're like pattern, they're like instead of the like goldish blue, they're like black. Um he, he like picks up a bottle with like a clear liquid in it. And then he just like sets it in front of you. And then in your mind you hear, do you know what's inside that bottle? Do I know what's inside that bottle? Nope. Water. Close. Oil. Polar. So vinegar. You would be, you can stop guessing now. <laughs> He's reading your thoughts, by the way. Oh, I thought she was saying these out loud. Never mind. Yeah, he's okay. he's reading your thoughts. So if you're having if you're having thanks, let me know. Okay. I mean What is she thinking about? So so seeing the octopus shape would have made her think of Camilla, but now he's got her distracted with this bottle. And she's like, yeah, a bottle. So she's vinegar and then he tells her to stop and she's like, okay, I'm going to stop, I guess. He says, it is amazing how fragile a mortal's body is. That's seawater. And it's more than enough if I were to force you to drink it for your kidneys to fail in three days. That's scary. She's scared. That's scary. She didn't know that. Yeah. You see, I don't have, this is all in your mind. I don't have to just break you. I can just make you die incredibly slowly and bring you back when you're an inch from death three days from now. So you should start telling me what I want to know. Well, you're going to start experiencing some very painful things. Honestly, I think she's just kind of thinking, of, I, I have to find a way to get out of here before three days if he does this, like, yeah. You're not going to get out of here. Scared. I'll find you, or my master will find you, or one of our allies will find you. Master? Like kind of, kind of like smiles. I realize his teeth are like, right now his teeth look a little bit sharper than they should be. Ooh. And then he closes his lips and smiles again and they go back. Okay, that was scary. You have not seen horror yet, princess. Who's your master? What are you thinking? She's she's trying very hard not to think about keep him talking, kind of keep him distracted. She's trying very hard not to think that. I mean, that's like thinking about don't think about elephants. Actually, so she's like thinking about, okay, I have to keep my mind quiet and still so I don't think about the thing I'm thinking about. And I think that Rafik's mind that she experienced 
is what she then thinks about. That cool still water. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think he just grabs you by the hair really hard and just starts ripping chunks of your hair out. Oh, okay. Let me know when she starts panicking. Oh, no, she is. She's already there. She, mm -hmm. It doesn't take much. She's screaming. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. So it kind of, kind of lets you like flop there for a little bit after ripping most of your hair out. Uh -huh. And then just says, where are your friends? They want them to. Where are they? Who wants, who wants them? Grabs another chunk of your hair and rips. Yeah, okay, she screams. Uh, you don't, you just don't so get you know, I'm getting, it. I'm getting a little uncomfortable with how far this is going. No problem. Thank you for telling us. Mm -hmm. uh, what was his statement? What did he say? No more questions. OK. Um, she's trying really hard not to think. Probably isn't that difficult when she just is in pain. Yeah. Make a make a wisdom saving throw. OK. Well, that was a four. Oh, gosh. That was really bad. So, I'm, so mechanically, what I'm going to say this does is so everyone knows he knows where the house is. Is that fair? Yeah, that sounds okay. right. I'm surprised you didn't blur it out at that point. I mean, I think that for the most part, she probably can't speak very well through the pain. Oh, yeah, yeah, good point. You make a, con, not trained you make a con save for me. Okay. That one's a 17. Okay, you succeed. Take a level of exhaustion. Okay. And I think we're gonna draw the curtain on the rest of this scene. Okay. I apologize, Lily. Huh? I apologize. For what? Making you feel uncomfortable. Are you okay? Oh, you're good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Sorry, guys. I gave away the house. Yeah, it's fine. I want them to come to the house. You're not there. <laughs> Your butler's the only one there. Hey, oh, hey, no. hey. Well, no, no, no. We still got Drake there. It's fine. Okay. I'm gonna miss that Drake. Miss it, that. It, it, it was a good dancer too, and a Jedi, and also he played tennis. It was all these things that a Drake. What? All these things that Drake did. <laughs> the, okay. the meme. I'm sorry. Okay. I love that. Meme. All right. So we jump to um. We jump to you guys back in that like room. With, so we jump to you guys walking into. Uh, like a backstage area. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're in like the back of. I, I don't see anything. Uh... Like the the applause sort of ends as you come back there, and then, like from off like a. I guess she'd be a Yanti comes off stage, but her whole body is serpentine. Um, her whole body is serpentine. She has like a mostly serpentine head, but she has like a female torso. She's like wearing like really thin, like wispy fabric and a veil. I'm just gonna walk up and like, is there like a curtain or anything like, or like a, uh... So like we're like in a backstage area. Is there like a curtain yeah. that's kind of like blocking us from the uh, like the the rest of the wherever we are? Yeah, 
You got to the backstage concert area. Right, yeah, I just I just go up and, like, move the curtain and, like, poke my head through to look at what's there. Yeah, there's, there's like, a like a bunch of people sitting at tables um, uh, of, like, all races. Um, and they're, like, like, casually drinking and chatting. Is there, like, a, a another exit on, like, the other side or something? Or, like... Uh, make a perception check. Uh, yeah, there's a, there's a, um, there's like a, there, there appears to be like an entrance where, where people would normally come in from further back. Um, and, uh, but you also notice there's like several like guards they're like now like coming over to like be like, hey, what's this person doing backstage who's not supposed to be there? <laughs> um whoever's in like the the closest like table to me, mm -hmm. I'm just gonna like, hey, you. Yeah, it's a it's a it's a elven woman sitting with a Yanti man. Hey. Um, can we help you? What is this place? She, she like looks at the on the the man that she's sitting with the auntie and he just kind of like sh shakes his head no and she just sits gods what do you mean no, <laughs> no you, you have a you've got you you've, 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 you've got a tunnel that with fake rocks and it in a place where there's were rats and what is so this I think, place? I think I think I think a, a, a large a large um, workish man comes over and just like takes takes your hand and she like, says, uh, "Ma'am, you're going to need to get off the stage." No, ma'am, I'm going to have to ask you one more time to leave, and then I'm going to take you out of this building. What is this building? You see, you see Echo Hand like reach behind from like above to sort of taller and put my hand on his hand. And I go, "Hey." Just like the scene from you know what movie. I'm gonna ask you nicely to back off. And I'm bigger than that work. He like... Look, we just came through a tunnel with illusory rocks and weird arm lamps and came up supposed, here. You're not supposed to be here. You need to leave. Where's here? I think the servant, the servant that woman comes over and just says, um, Hans, is something going wrong? And then the orc turns and says something kind of angry to her in orcish. Um, oh, yeah. Wait, wait, I can understand Look, that. we wouldn't, yeah. we wouldn't have says, even, yeah, sorry. He says, this lady's refusing to leave, boss. Can I just get rid of her? And she, she, she like says something in orcish as well. And they like, she, it's something to the effect of, She's probably just confused. We wouldn't have even come up here if you hadn't called my name. There you go. So you, she, I think she looks at you and she like kind of like coils around herself a little bit. She's like, "Excuse me." Yeah, you said you somebody called Cecilia. So, and then we come up here and it's like a bar or something. What? I'd like to think that my establishment is more than just a bar. Um, but... You know that um, tunnel's just open, right? Well, I can't very well close it. Well, why do you have a bar with a tunnel like that? Because where else could I get the space? You know where rats are down there. They could just walk in. Oh, Moon and her friends, they're lovely. Yes, they are. <laughs> no, what? They were... They're, they're so sweet. I hope no, you weren't they're too not. Hard. I hope you weren't too hard on them. They're very kind. I gave him oh, gold. Oh man, what if you had killed them? They're obnoxious. I, I say, I, say I, I gave them gold. They were very nice. Their drinks. Oh, yeah, were they're, good. They're such... Their drinks was not good. You got to give them better drinks. That's why I gave them gold. Uh, well, they. I have offered them better beverages on several occasions, but they insist on making stuff themselves. They wanted to rob our house, Echo. I like my house. Yeah, they yeah. wanted to steal stuff from it for to pay back the seven gold you owe them. That feels very much like racial profiling, and as a fellow Yanti, I feel like you are should be aware of that. 
What are you talking? They asked <laughs> what? <laughs> no. I, I they said, give us seven gold or tell us where your house is. Uh, uh, Cecilia, it, it's, it's fine. We, we, we're not, our friend's not here. We can go now. It's fine. I'm sorry, ma'am, that we interrupt your lovely establishment here. And oh, I apologize for the intrusion. It's not and even a Moon lovely is, establishment. It's got a hole hey, in it. Sh 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 sh. Moon's oh, a very my. nice lady that I would like to talk to later, maybe. I yeah, don't know. she says, well, thank you. If you ever want to come back, Mr. What is your name? Uh, I'm Echo. Echo. If you ever want to come back, uh, we are a location that's inclusive of all. Um, please find your way to Cecilia's den any time. This gotcha. woman, on the other hand, is not allowed to return. Uh, it, it's Wait, fine. you're Cecilia? Oh. There's more than one Cecilia in this world. Yes, my name is Cecilia. Well, I... it, Look, the... The the first one the first one came and talked to me like an hour ago, so I'm a little confused. Okay, our friends being tortured or something, and I we ah. It's it's fine, Cecilia. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Um, Cecilia's friend, having a breakdown. I love it. Does your friend need medical attention? Um, we have no, no, no. We're just we going. actually have a therapist on staff. Uh, it's so I fine. am a therapist. Thank you very much. <laughs> no, it's it's fine. We're just Even going. Therapist through. needs therapist, darling. Okay, our uh, our friend's missing, and we're just trying to find her. Uh, we're, we're trying. We had four choices, and we just chose the wrong choice. We're going on our way. Thank you, ma'am. And have a nice day. And I'll probably come by for drinks later. With Moon. Thank you very much, Mister Echo. Okay. Have a nice day. As I. Good luck with your um, ongoing mental battle, Miss Cecilia. Oh my gosh. You're know, like I'm leaving. <laughs> That was a waste of time. Oh yeah, and I, like before I go, I kind of get a napkin if I kind of wipe my face off from the uh, mm -hmm. the, the when I puked out the thing. The yeah, day. it's like a it's like a really nice cloth napkin. Okay, I, I, I'm sorry for napkin. Uh, I throw the little bit of silver I have left this saga. I gave the rest to Moon. Mm -hmm. If Thank I owe you, just tell me. Oh, Whatever. honey, it's on the house. We understand. Oh, thank you. As I'm kind of like wiping my face of the. It's like puke up on myself. <laughs> you two are ridiculous and awesome. It's great. I leave and I get I get to like Rafik and Vana and, and them and I'm just like it was just a bar and they it, it she thinks it's fine that there's a giant hole in it. Yes, it's fine. It's, it's all fine. It's, it's fine. How is it fine? It's yeah, fine because we have bigger fish to fry. That's why I didn't want to go in there in the first place. <laughs> Actually, I, I wanted to go in and you were like, no, and then you turned around. You know what? That's not the point. You gotta go save our... Uh... You have three more options. You have the one going down, the one going up. Uh, okay, we're going to choose the one going up. Do you want to make an investi check, investigation check around it first? To see... I want to investigate to see if there's, like, blood okay. or, like... I give you guidance. Asimar prints or... Asimar. Like, As as they print specifically, you see a little bit of holiness every time they <laughs> yeah, investigation check, please. Can, can I, is there like a, is there like a holy vision for like a, like a thermal vision? Yeah, I've given, I've given like, ah, yes. A blessed celestial person. Celestial vision. Person. Yes. Celestial vision. Of course. <laughs> please right. tell Investigation. Me. Oh my. Oh, what just happened? Uh, luckily hey. I have a... Ha ha. <laughs> It's technically a two. It's not a. It's not a. Uh, it. I didn't. It's. It's. It's no, technically a two. No, they definitely went down. Definitely went down. Yeah, definitely went down. Okay, Echo. You know I'm pretty sure they went this way. Okay, fine. We're not gonna go up. We're gonna go down. I mean, I. Maybe this will be a. a, a Cecilia, I believe you. Maybe this will be a toy store or something down here. Ooh, that's a good idea. <laughs> As we go down. Yeah, we just head, I just cr crankily head down. Uh, yeah, you 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 go down, uh, and eventually it opens up into a massive chamber of like, um, yashes. No, it, it, it's it's like a chain. It's like an actual like stone chamber, but it's just like covered in moss everywhere. And there's then you you like you like hear like like occasionally like 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 this sound of someone stepping on the moss like further down in the room. Hello. 
Hello? Who's there? Uh, Echo and friends. Echo and friends. We should come up with a name for our party. Did no, we got the best name ever, Echo and friends. It's fine. Did but, so you see you see like a little like a little um like a little like a little like like a like a like a little nose like poke its way over like a stalactite. Did like a little like a like a very old looking gnomish woman stick her head out from behind a stalactite and look at you. Did a bunch of fallen Azamar bring a not fallen Azamar here? When? Like a half hour ago? She like just she like adjusts her glasses. Uh -huh. I, don't I don't think so. I don't think so. What's nobody else Nobody else came through here. What's this all about? Our friend was kidnapped. I oh, why? Yeah, we we're trying to find her. If if they if someone came through here, we it, we can just be on our way. Otherwise, we can go back. Um there wasn't anyone that came through here with you. Just me and the moss. Okay. <clears throat> All right, Echo. I, I, I don't. It, I don't know what what I saw then. Okay. Uh, I kind of. I kind of. So she she like she like walks up to like a big a very large mushroom and then like turns into a badger and then eats it and just like proceeds to sit there just like munching on this big mushroom. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Cool. Uh, I actually want to be a were badger. Maybe. Or maybe she's just a maybe she's just a fungus druid. <laughs> That's another alternative. Okay, have fun it's with your pretty neat thing. Have fun with your mushrooms. Uh, it, let's the, the mushroom the 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 badger like whines a little bit. Okay, come on, let's go. Other way. We have Can two... you see me? You see me kind of glee when we leave. Ah, she met another druid. It's so cool. I gotta come back later. Okay, so someone else. Just like, I gotta come back later. I gotta come back later. I gotta come back later. <laughs> okay, we get back to the cross. We're like, okay, someone else picked the way this time because apparently I can't. <laughs> right as you say that, you hear like a clap of thunder. And sirens? Oh. And then, and then a like booming voice in draconic rings in your mind, and then you just hear, Rafik, you sent me to protect an idiot, and, and then just like from down the tunnel, a like coaddle flies. What? What? Oh, that, is no. that a friend? What? What is happening here? <laughs> oh. Everyone, meet Kotek. Hi. Hi, Kotek. Like, it like, because it's like, it's like roughly human size. So it like squares up in front of, in front of Rafiq and just kind of stares them down. Hi. Uh, we're, we're a little busy at the moment. Could you guys have a, have your thing later? Yeah, we're looking for our Asimar friend. Yeah, we, we, we're, we, 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 slash, we're. Slash dragon, slash. Uh, part of your religion slash messiah slash uh... messiah. Oh my God, Echo, no! What? I mean, she's 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 an Asimar. She just has dragon scales. Yes, the one that shot me with a ball of ice and snow. I remember. Oh, that one. Yeah, oh, she, she does that. Yeah, yeah. I saw the room. She did a very good job murdering those people. Wait, did yeah. she cut? Did, I'm a little bit. Is she tired. that way? What? It, did did you Wait, come from where she is? No. Oh, well then, do you know where she is? Yes. I think, they, I think they just like look at Rafiq. It just looks at Rafiq. And Rafiq just sighs and just says, how much? And then you don't hear anything. And Rafiq is just like, you're kidding. No, that's insane. 
No, no, I'm not going to. Okay. Do you need, do you need help? No, I got it. Please just, I got it. I just, come on. This is, excuse me. I got to do a fix. Come on. This is uh let's not do the fix voice. Uh, Saints, uh, I don't remember how to do that. Was, that was, that was, I, I thought that was it. That was like at least close. Like, oh, yeah. Come on. This is ridiculous. Uh, What's re- what? Open up. <clears throat> Is it gold? Is it a a song? It a it, one thousand. A nice a nice bath. One thousand one thousand gold pieces. Okay, well we don't have that. You take magic items of equivalent value. What is in our wagon? We are, we're not near our wagon. You see Echo thinks, and then he like swallow his pride and he takes off his boxing gloves. <laughs> you see me reach for it like, like yeah, like you, princess. I think uh, I think Kotek just like slows up to them and looks at them for a second, in your mind you hear, "What is your name?" I, my trade name or my actual name. I go by Echo, but my name is such 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 and such 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 such. It's complicated. <laughs> Yeah, huh? I am Kotek, and I, I accept your payment. Okay, I give him the boxing gloves. And he like takes it and they like sets it on its nose, and then they just like disappear suddenly. And then it like it's like is that I, a nose of holding? No, it like it like just does it does weird angel magic shit. Sure. Like it doesn't have pockets, um, and then it's like eyes glow bright. Uh, as it casts Scry, uh, Andrella, uh-huh. make a, what is, what is Scry's save? I think it's a will save. I think it's a wisdom. No, I mean, wisdom, my bad. Fine. Yeah. It's always a wisdom save. Unless it's Bane. I love doing Bane on uh, animals because they usually fail because they have negative charisma. <laughs> uh, target must make a wisdom saving throw. Yeah, make a wisdom it, saving it, throw. Um, there are knowledge save modifiers. They have met. They have met you, so it's a zero. They do not have any possessions, so. Just Body, a black. Part, lock of hair, bit of nail. Do they yeah. do they say this out loud? They need some kind of possession. Do you have a possession? Oh yeah, sure. I bring out the giant scale. Okay, so make the save at a minus ten. Wait, so I should minus ten on that number? Zero. Yep. <laughs> ding, okay. ding, 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 ding. Hmm. Mm. Your friend is in a very bad place. Where is this bad place? She's in a barn. She's being tortured. Okay. I was so proud of her until she got caught. I thought she really became a murderess. I thought she had it in her finally to just let it out, but... This disappointment. There are it's, it, so it, it's like he's like look you, he's like looking or he's like moving his head. Um, and then it says. The farm 
appears to grow peaches. I thought it was pickles. Pickled peaches. Pickled peaches. Oh, I thought it was pickled pickles. <laughs> yeah, you can pickle this. <laughs> I love uh, what they love it. Kimchi. Mm-hmm. God, the spices and the smell is delicious. Pickled peaches. Pickled peaches. Uh, is that it? Is that a thing around here? Yes, they grow peaches. Do you know where? The spell does not allow me to determine an exact location. But if you find a farm that produces a large quantity, you will find her. Wait a minute. Had, did we pass by says farm when we came into the city? Uh, probably not. We should probably head up then and just... Yeah, it's probably up. I, I uh, offer my... Uh, I do a uh, celestial bow because for some reason instantly I know how to do that I appreciate mm-hmm. you and your services for trying to help her before she ice ball you I guess I don't know I wasn't there I saw like remember I did did a good investigation to figure yes, out what it was I think they just I think it I think it kind of chortles a little bit it was not a fun time yeah I usually deal with her isn't but you know what are you gonna do it's your family <laughs> No, I gotta go uh, destroy Asmar? Question mark. Hopefully. He should. And so, be- and then it like, and then it like, clap of thunder, and the koala disappears. And then Rafiq just kind of sighs and just says, "I really hate that koala." Ah, uh, it gave me what I needed. Upward, then. Let's go. <laughs> that was your get out of jail free card. It cost me a magic item, but I'm okay with it. Cause, okay, do we want to take a break? Because the only one magic item I will not give up is the beer, just because a Patreon gave that to us. Yes, they did. Yeah, that's why I, I can't I can't <laughs> use it. But I'm not gonna get rid of it because it's a yeah. gift from you know someone that supports our channel. That will be just mean. Well, supports the game design work I do for the channel. But yes, yeah, all right, exactly. let's take a commercial break. All righty, uh, see y'all in a few minutes. <laughs>